Welcome to New York City, the city that never sleeps. With over 8 million people living and working here, traffic can be quite a challenge. New York is located in the northeastern part of the United States, on the East Coast. It is bordered by New Jersey to the west and Connecticut, Massachusetts, and Vermont to the north. The city is situated on a natural harbor and is surrounded by two major rivers, the Hudson River on the west side and the East River on the east side. New York is the largest city in the state of New York and the United States. It has a total area of 468.9 square miles. The five boroughs of New York are Manhattan, Brooklyn, Queens, the Bronx, and Staten Island. Manhattan is the smallest borough and Staten Island is the largest. The width of New York varies depending on where you are in the city. Manhattan, the most densely populated borough, is only 2.3 miles wide at its widest point dot and the largest part, Staten Island is approximately 14 miles wide at its widest point. The Hudson River is a major river that flows from the Adirondack Mountains in upstate New York down to New York Harbor, where it meets the Atlantic Ocean. The river forms the western boundary of Manhattan and separates it from New Jersey. The Hudson River has several exits into New York City, including the Battery Park underpass, which connects Manhattan to Battery Park and the Financial District, and the Holland Tunnel, which connects Manhattan to New Jersey. The river is also crossed by several iconic bridges, including the George Washington Bridge, which connects Manhattan to New Jersey, and the Tappan Zee Bridge, which connects Westchester County to Rockland County. The East River is a saltwater tidal strait that separates Manhattan from Brooklyn and Queens. It is not actually a river, but rather a tidal estuary that connects Upper New York Bay to Long Island Sound. The East River has several exits into New York City, including the Queens Midtown Tunnel, which connects Midtown Manhattan to Queens, and the Brooklyn Battery Tunnel, which connects Manhattan to Brooklyn. The river is also crossed by several famous bridges, including the Brooklyn Bridge, which connects Brooklyn to Manhattan, and the Williamsburg Bridge, which connects Brooklyn to the Lower East Side of Manhattan. The rivers of New York, the Hudson River and the East River, are major waterways that touch the city and play a significant role in its history and development. New York City has some of the busiest streets in the world. With so many people and vehicles on the road, traffic can get pretty congested during rush hour. In fact, according to a recent study, drivers in New York City spend an average of 56 hours each year stuck in traffic. From yellow taxis to delivery trucks, bicycles to buses, there's a wide variety of vehicles on the road in New York City. This can make for some interesting traffic situations, with drivers needing to constantly be aware of their surroundings and stay alert. In addition to vehicles, there are also a lot of pedestrians in New York City. With so many people walking around, it's important to pay attention to traffic signals and crosswalks to ensure everyone stays safe. While driving is one option for getting around New York City, there are also plenty of other modes of transportation available. From the subway to buses to bike shares, there are lots of ways to get where you need to go without having to deal with the traffic. New York City was founded in 1624 by Dutch traders and was originally known as New Amsterdam. The city played an important role in the American Revolution and served as the capital of the United States from 1785 to 1790. During the 19th century, New York City became a major center of commerce and industry, with the construction of the Erie Canal and the growth of the shipping industry. In the 20th century, New York City became a global hub for finance, media, and culture. New York City's population has grown significantly over time. In 1790, the city had a population of just 33,000 people. By 1900, the population had grown to over 3.4 million people, making it the largest city in the United States at the time. During the 20th century, the population continued to grow, reaching a peak of 8.6 million people in 1950. However, in the second half of the 20th century, the city experienced a population decline as people moved to the suburbs and other parts of the country. By 1980, the population had dropped to 7.1 million people. In recent years, however, the population has started to grow again, and as of 2021, the estimated population of New York City is over 8.8 .8 million people. Visiting the Statue of Liberty is an unforgettable experience. Visitors can take a ferry to Liberty Island and explore the statue's pedestal and museum. For those who want to climb to the top, there is a staircase with 354 steps to the crown. From the top, visitors can enjoy breathtaking views of the New York Harbor and the city skyline. The statue's torch was closed to visitors after the September 11th attacks, but the pedestal and museum remain open to the public. The Statue of Liberty was gifted to the United States by France in 1886 to commemorate the centennial of America's Declaration of Independence. The statue was designed by French sculptor Frédéric-Auguste Bartholdi, 
and its metal framework was built by Alexander Gustav Eiffel, the same engineer behind the Eiffel Tower. The statue was shipped to New York in 214 crates and assembled on a pedestal on Liberty Island. The Statue of Liberty stands at 305 feet tall from the ground to the tip of its torch. The statue weighs 450,000 pounds and is made of copper sheets that are less than 3 30 seconds of an inch thick. The statue's crown has seven rays, symbolizing the seven seas and continents of the world. The Empire State Building Standing at 1,454 feet tall, the Empire State Building is one of the most recognizable landmarks in the city. Completed in 1931, this Art Deco skyscraper was the tallest building in the world until 1971. Visitors can take an elevator to the observation deck on the 86th floor, which offers breathtaking views of the city. For those who want an even higher view, there is an additional observation deck on the 102nd floor. Central Park Located in the heart of Manhattan, Central Park is a sprawling oasis of greenery in the midst of the city. This 843-acre park features walking paths, lakes, gardens, and even a zoo. Visitors can rent a bike or take a horse-drawn carriage ride to explore the park's many attractions, including the famous Bethesda Fountain and the Central Park Conservatory Garden. Central Park is a must-see destination for anyone visiting New York City. Times Square Known as the crossroads of the world, Times Square is a bustling commercial and entertainment hub that never sleeps. This iconic intersection is home to bright lights, billboards, and street performers. Visitors can catch a Broadway show or explore the many shops and restaurants in the area. Times Square is especially popular on New Year's Eve, when a huge crowd gathers to watch the famous ball drop. Broadway is one of the most famous streets in the world, known for its iconic theaters and shows. Visitors can catch a Broadway show, which includes musicals, plays, and operas. The street is also home to a range of restaurants, bars, and shops, making it an ideal destination for a night out. The Brooklyn Bridge is a historic suspension bridge that spans the East River between Brooklyn and Manhattan. Completed in 1883, it was the longest suspension bridge in the world at the time. Visitors can walk or bike across the bridge to enjoy stunning views of the city skyline and the river below. No tour of New York City food would be complete without trying some of the classic dishes that the city is famous for, such as pizza, bagels, and hot dogs. New York City is also known for its trendy and innovative foodie spots, where chefs experiment with fusion cuisine and unusual flavor combinations, such as Smorgasburg, Chelsea Market, and Italy. New York City is a vast and diverse city, and there are many hidden gems and local favorites that are just waiting to be discovered, such as street food vendors, ethnic markets, and mom and pop restaurants. One World Trade Center One World Trade Center is a modern and sleek skyscraper that was built as part of the rebuilding efforts following the September 11th attacks. Completed in 2014, it stands as the tallest building in the Western Hemisphere. Central Park Tower Central Park Tower is a brand new addition to the city's skyline, having just been completed in 2020. It is currently the tallest residential building in the world, with luxury apartments occupying the upper floors. New York City is home to some of the world's largest and most influential financial institutions, such as J.P. Morgan Chase, Goldman Sachs, and Morgan Stanley. New York City is a hub for media and entertainment, with many of the world's top companies in this industry calling the city home such as Viacom CBS, NBC Universal, and Warner Media. New York City has a rapidly growing technology and startup scene, with many innovative and successful companies based in the city, such as Google, Amazon, and Facebook, as well as some of the city's top startups such as Peloton and WeWork. New York City is a global leader in retail and fashion, with many of the world's top brands and designers calling the city home, such as Macy's, Tiffany & Company, and Ralph Lauren as well as some of the city's top fashion startups such as Rent the Runway and Warby Parker.